Strange things continue to happen on the market, and if this is going to be one of my last final warnings for you to keep an eye on some cards before, poof, they're gone in 2023. Make sure you guys smash the crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more awesome content. We're going to start off with the strange thing that's been happening in the market. Now, for those of you that remember good old Tempest Magician, you might remember that this card is locked up deep in a vault somewhere, and we're not dealing with this, because this was the unlimited spell counter holder for the OTK machine, because once per turn you discard any number of cards, play spell card on it, and then uh, you remove all spell counters from this card to ping your opponent for 500. Uh, Tempest Magician FTK was a very strong thing, but uh, near mint for $13, you're like, huh, oh, okay, like, Sure. And then you uh, you look at these first eds here, $76 and $76. And you you kinda of look around the room, you kinda of, you kinda of go, what is what's going why, what's going on here? Sixty-five dollars are your lowest um on them. And then seventy-nine on up to you know a hundred plus. So for a banned card of all things to kind of just been spinning around, you know, you kinda Kind of just curious about that. Yeah, it's, uh, that's a thing. Next up, I want to dive back into Battles of Legend. I want to talk about um, Black Wings being more budget for Edison format now. I'm sure a lot of you have already like figured this out, but I'm going to spell this out for those of you that uh, are you want to play other formats, and you're like, well, you know, that's, that's too expensive. Majority of the Black Wing stuff that you needed got reprinted in you know, Crystal Revenge. Minus, I think, maybe one to two things. I think Qualoot being one of those, but as long as the rest of the core goes down, it's fine. It's still only nine Axis Code Talkers on the market. That's uh, that's interesting. And the Exodia heads are still recovering from the 525. Uh, Super Polys are still two tens. These are going down, by the way. Don't be, um, don't think that this is gonna hold it. I think this will go under 200 eventually. The world is still holding at 220. Uh, Exodia limbs. Oh boy, two hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, one hundred and seventy-five dollars, and stinky one seventy. Yada one hundred and fifty, and armor master at one hundred and fifteen. Honestly, if you if you're trying to play some medicine format and you know you had some money set aside and you wanted to build some black wings or maybe for another alternative format. I mean, this this looks pretty inviting for somebody that might want to have a higher rarity version of it. Box is fifty two dollars now. Wow, access code talkers are actually going up. Who didn't see that coming for thirties? Tomb Black Luster Soldiers at nines. Borlode Savages at eights. Um, Utopic Futures at sixes. Those going down. Okay. Chaos Spaces. Keep an eye on this for Penny Stonk. Best three dollar card of the block by far. $2 page flips. Okay, sure. Bookmarks at $2. There are so many penny stonks in this set. I Once again, I'm going to repeat that. Penny stonk everywhere. Oh, man. Poor Tyranno. Under a dollar, finally. Okay. See, now, sir, we start getting into the Blackwing stuff. They use for 60 cents. Yeah, I remember when values were whole $10 plus. Pretty ridiculous, actually. Um, your Vance Crystal Beast are all cheap. Okay. Um, all pretty, they're all 50 cents plus though. That's kind of interesting. Um, patchworks are 45 cents. This is also no penny stonk, I feel like. Bora the Spear, 40 cents. Okay, Blizzards, 40 cents. These, penny stonk as well. All right. So, once again, all the Blackwing stuff that you're seeing here, <laughs> penny stonk. Hell, even the Doom Kaisers, these are not 20 cents. Gale's 20 cents as well. Like, if you want to upgrade your Blackwing deck from Edison format, Full Armor Master is 20 cents. Same thing with Simone's here. I think that's like one of the cool things. It's not going to perform very well in the actual format. Sirocco's are 15 cents as well. But if you want to bring one deck from one format up to another to say that you can, I mean, you can. All right, so yeah, all your Blackwing stuff. Pennies on the dollar. The Exodia limbs doing what the Exodia limbs continue to do. I'm glad to see, you know, after a couple days that the market is settling in on things. But uh, this is going to be, this is the one that you kind of got to worry about that's going to be expensive. Uh, like I said, it is nice that, you know, for Edison format, you know, some cheaper stuff is looking more enticing. But 
A good thing Silver Wind the Ascendant is like a one of. All right. Good news is the rare is only like five, six bucks. So it's not amazing. I once again want to say that, but um, there is there is value. All right. Oh boy. Ah oh, man. So for those of you that have been living underneath a rock and you're you're playing the oh, I'm procrastinating game, Robbie. I don't want to. Not worried about Castira yet. God, stop trying to get me to buy cards early, you idiot. God, I'll buy them when they come out. Well, for those of you that aren't going to be um, like that nerd over there. See, over there, yeah, the one's like, no, I'll get them later. Um, not my fault. All right, big guys, these are over 100 for the ulti. We know this. This has been a thing. Secret Rare at $37. Now, the one that... Um, the one that people are freaking out about right now, they're like, oh my god, have you seen the Battles of Light's Revenge, big guy? They're $13. That bubble is going to burst, Robbie. Just you wait. Well, I mean, it is, I'm not going to lie, it's kind of high. Um, I do kind of agree with that a little bit. Problem is, big guy is a 0 to a 1 of. Kind of depends on how you want to build the extra deck and things like that, but it's by far not a bad choice to have. The Battles of uh, <laughs> Paddle, or Battle Pack 2s. These are also pretty hard, but for the most part, keep an eye on this one. Now, obviously, this is one that I, I do highly recommend getting in case you want to be that guy to play the Barrier Statue, because this gives you the once per turn detach one to special summon a level four Wing Beast monster from your deck. Now, if you're like me and you draw the Barrier Statue, you're going to cry every single time that you summon this card or you open the Barrier Statue, you're like, whoa, cool! You know, I, I can't do anything now. Like, story of my life, all right? Like, that's just going to be how that's going to be. So keep an eye on, on this one as well. The price is definitely calmed back down to the point that I would say, yes, grab one of these now while you can. Diabolsi's the mind hacky. Oh, boy. I don't know if you, uh, you've been paying attention, but uh, the wheels are spinning pretty hard on these. We are, we're accelerating to the five over the $5 mark for sure. And once again, this is one of the key cards for the deck. So... If you wake up in the next couple of days and you see, like, oh my god, like, uh, I think today's the day I'm finally going to get Diabolsis. Don't be surprised if you see a 6 $7 price tag on this, because the way that the market's, you know, throwing this card around, it's going up relatively quickly. So, once again, you've been warned on that. Draco Sacks. I, I still don't know how I feel about this one, to be honest with you. I mean, the secrets are going to be the nicer looking ones. Uh, the Megaton version's at $14. Super Rares is where it's at, actually. If you want to save yourself some money and have a nice hollow, it's going to cost you a whole dollar. Uh, it's nothing really too crazy out here, for sure. At least you've got budget alternatives available for you for these particular cards, which is very nice. Oh, then there's this thing. This is starting to get kind of interesting. The uh, the Titanic Moth. If you control no other monsters, this card can attack directly, but when it does using this effect, Battle damage becomes halved. All right, sure. And this card inflicts damage to your opponent. You touch a material from this card and inflict 500 damage to your opponent for each card in their hand. Huh. So you're telling me is I can now have this stupid moth attack my opponent directly. And wha-bam. Time is called. And I am the victor. I am absolutely the best duelist in the room. All because my moth says it can attack directly. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to point out here, King of the Swamps. Um, the reprints and things have definitely pushed these down relatively nicely, but just as a little bit of a heads up, if you're somebody out here that's getting ready for the Dark World Structure deck um, and wants to incorporate one of these into your deck for the Grapha, um, the nice ones are 90 bucks still. All right. Uh, Fire Formation Tankies, 125 is what we've settled out for these. Just a little bit of a heads up for some of these other versions, $8, 3-ish dollars for Secret Gadget ones. Premium golds are looking kind of cheap, same thing with the premium golds. It kind of depends on, you know, your flavor of taste that you like for these, but little movements across the board for some tankies. Kroka Cooks, a little bit of a... <laughs> it's the Mystic Mines gone. Uh, the next generation of uh, Toxic Stall uh, spins on back. <laughs> Love dollars. You get the nice little commons for 70 cents. But the real trooper here is going to be the Astral Karibos that you're going to need to uh, generate that. And guess what? Astral Karibos have finally broke that $10 ceiling. Uh, $11, nines, 11 bucks post tax. Yeah, congratulations. All copies of these are uh, effectively doing something. So, tis the market for today. So, uh, moral of this video, 
keep an eye on these cards before it's uh, it's too late. I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in a day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.